In this Alpaca Vertec Pouches review, I'm gonna let you know what Alpaca is bringing to the table with these really new and interesting products so you can decide whether or not they're for you. But if they're not, don't worry. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the review where I'll give you a couple pouch slash sling recommendations. Let's talk about the gist of the Alpaca Vertex pouches. They're sort of like a fusion product of like a tech case meets a desk caddy meets a sling. I'll show you how that works in just a sec. Some of the top features is that it stands by itself. We've got a front access pocket and a really interesting sort of system of organization in the main compartment. A handle on the back, compatibility with Alpaca's modular ecosystem, and really nice materials, but also the materials, as you can see, depends based on which version you get. As of recording, the Vertec pouches come in two different options. Both are 3.5 liters, but you got the X-Pack version with a honeycomb orange interior that weighs 520 grams, and the Aeroflux version with the gray honeycomb interior that weighs a super light 290 grams. All Alpaca products are covered by their lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. And if at any point in this review you're thinking to yourself, yes, dude, this Vertex pouch, sling, desk caddy, tech pouch, fusion masterpiece, I want me some. And you're gonna make a purchase. Just remember that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. The reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes, but that link also helps to support the Nomad Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you so much. All right, first up, let's talk about the outside of the Alpaca Vertex pouches. First up, materials. As I said, you got two options, the X-Pack or the Aeroflux. Aeroflux is Alpaca's signature in-house made material. It's got a really cool design to it, a little scratchy, but it's super eco-friendly. And if you want a more subtle interior, this one comes with the gray. But for me, I'm all about this X-Pack. X-Pack is the same material that sailboats use for their sailcloths, so it's highly weather resistant. And I don't know, just the orange looks thick. It just, it just works for me. This is my spirit vertex pouch out of the two. One thing I love about Alpaca products is how subtle the branding is. Notice there's no Alpaca anywhere on the outside except right here in this little black on black tag. So if you're a fan of more subtle, anonymous type branding. And then really all to talk about is this front pocket. YKK PU coated zipper. This PU coating ensures the compartment stays protected from rain, snow, water. You get what I'm saying? The pull tab has a nice little stitch right there, which gives you a little extra grip. And then we're in. It's super small. This pocket is just about yay size. And on the other side of it is this sort of silky, elastic -y mesh. This in essence is your quick access pocket. And I'm not gonna fill it out yet because I wanna show you sort of how it works with the bag as a whole. When I talk about the main compartment, you'll see why in a sec. From there, flipping around, we have the top handle, which I think is a little overkill. Like, I don't know, this thing's not gonna be super heavy, so I don't need it to be carried like this all the time. It's not a briefcase, but I guess it's nice to have. It's a beefy, beefy handle. This D-ring at the bottom is good to connect like a carabiner or two, and you can like carry a water bottle externally. Or you can connect it to Alpaca's modular ecosystem, which allows you to sort of carry this thing in different ways. And speaking of carrying in different ways, this thing is like this sling as well. It's like, this fusion product. And I'm actually really enjoying it. I've been using it for the past few days, but I will say out of all the modes, sling mode is my least favorite. It's just that sling mode for me is a little on the bulkier side. But if you're looking for a desk caddy or a tech pouch, first, that can also double as a sling for those times that you need it. That's why this is so innovative. Sling mode is definitely good though, don't get me wrong. I love this webbing. Very high quality, very silky, very smooth. We've got dangle stoppers, right? To keep that excess dangle out of the effing way. And we've got Alpaca's signature magnetic hardware, but yet again, it's beefy, right? So like this whole sling doesn't have like a very slim, lightweight vibe. It's got a chunky vibe, but it's very smooth user experience. Magnets and slings go hand in hand, right? So anytime you wanna take the sling off, you don't have to like do this whole clip thing like you're in the 1980s. It's just like, dude, and that feels good. Real fast, quick note, I'm shooting this actually a couple days after we shot the review because Alpaca sent me the updated and the real shoulder strap for the Vertex pouch. They're both really the exact same thing, same magnetic buckles, same nylon webbing, only difference being the buckles in the new one move in a 360 degree motion for increased comfort. And we got a lot of padding. So when you're really decking out the Vertex pouch and wearing it in sling mode, this is gonna help give you a lot of extra comfort. Back to the review. But for me, like I said, I'm gonna probably stash this away and use it mostly as my desk tech pouch, which let's talk about. Let's go into the inside of the Alpaca Vertex pouch. Yet again, another YKK PU coated zipper. 
It's sort of like a half opening, but this is the glory of a product like this. Is It's not only standing, but it's just like ah, this beautiful presentation of all your things to you. And alpaca, you guys did something awesome here. I'm gonna throw you, pro I give props where props is deserved. You threw a couple magnets on both sides on the, on the top. So when it's in this position, it's really locked into this position. That's awesome. Just really, really cool. Quick layout. We have this pocket here, which is the pocket that you can access from the front. A big center section. A sort of like movable and adjustable divider. Two elastic pockets. A zippered pocket on the divider. And a tech sort of section. Let's break it down and pack it out. For me, I've been using this front pocket for my wires, right? I got a lot of wires, I got a lot of devices. They need charging at different times. I like to have quick access to those. And you can see I can access them here now in the back or when the Vertex pouch is closed, I can access them there as well. Now, one thing to note, this would have been an 11 out of 10 for me if it perfectly fit my Sony XMH5s. It does if I don't pack it out too much, but if I do put more gear in here, it gets a little too squished for my comfort zone. I'll show you why in a sec. Let's pack it out with some other stuff though. A couple extra batteries, one in each slot. Oh, I forgot to mention too, the divider has a magnetic portion in there. Good for maybe some more wires. But for me, definitely a good spot for a couple pens. And you can see in the zippered pocket too, we actually have three smaller pockets. This is good for your small tidbits of gear. You can put like coins or something in there. Or if you're a photographer, great for SD cards, spare batteries. For me, I've been kind of not using this pocket. So I'm just gonna, you know, be real and continue not using it. But let's talk about this main section and this divider because it does like this like shape shifter thing, which is very innovative. And it was actually very, very useful. Alpaca markets this as being a great location for your Nintendo Switch. I have never touched a Nintendo Switch in my entire life, so I have no idea anything about gaming or any of that stuff. But in the pictures, it looks like it can fit very well. But for me, I would use it like if I was traveling, this would be a good travel companion, right? Maybe throw a couple passports in there, easily accessible, but because of the shape-shifting nature of the divider, it can sort of collapse and keep those secure. And then it also gives you more room in the main compartment, which we can talk about my headphones. So you can see everyone has different headphones, right? And the overhead headphone revolution has been great in a lot of ways, but tough for bag makers because they're all different shapes and sizes and they're bulky. But you can see when I don't have this thing too packed out, my WXM H5, whatever the hell they're called, they fit nicely. I'm okay with this. They're tight, but they're nice. But if I start adding more gear into there, you can see it's just, it's just not gonna work. And then on the back side, for me, my notebook and my Kindle. By the way, I'm reading the Steve Jobs biography right now. That dude was crazy, highly recommended. And you can see right here, now I've got my hand, my personal work assistant. That when I'm working at the laptop, right, I literally got, you know, I'll bring this to like a coffee shop, right? I got my laptop right here. And then just sort of all the work stuff that I need, whether it's to charge something, to block out noise, to write down some notes, or whatever it is, this is just like, dude, I got your back. And that's why I'm a big fan. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Alpaca Vertex pouch. Overall pro number one, super innovative in the way that it's like sort of a pouch and a desk caddy and can be a sling. Overall pro number two, that magnetic connection right there. Well done. And overall pro number three, I forgot to mention that on the back here, this is a microfiber lining, right? So when you put like your iPad there or your Kindle, it just helps to make sure it doesn't get scratched. But on the flip side, I got a few cons as well. Here they are. Con number one, because of the bulky and flat configuration, sling mode is just not, it's not as great of a sling as other slings in the market. But this is the way with anything. You gotta keep this in mind. Quick side rant before I go to con number two is that any product that tries to be multiple things can never be multiple things as good as the things that just do one thing, right? A sling slash tech pouch will never be as good as just a sling or just a tech pouch. It's going to have to be a compromise to be that two or three in one. Con number two, I would have liked maybe a little bit more space just for my personal packing experience with my Sony headphones. And con number three, I just don't know if this bulky ass handle was necessary. Could have maybe cut costs a little bit and weight ever so slightly. But if you're still watching this, you're like, Aaron, that thing is awesome. I didn't get it, but now I get it. And I wanna buy it. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Just remember that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you. But if you're not quite sold, let me give you a few alternative recommendations that might better suit your needs. Alternative recommendation number one is gonna be the Black Ember TKS. This is for you if you're looking for sort of a sling tech pouch combo and you don't need it to stand. Therefore, if it doesn't stand, it has less bulk. Therefore, it has less bulk, it's kind of a better sling. Don't get me wrong, it's a very controversial sling, but you're either gonna love it or hate it. And to learn more about it, you can take a look at the description below and find a link to our full Black Ember TKS review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Bellroy Desk Caddy. 
This is for you if you're like, oh my God, I love the idea of a personal work assistant, right? This thing that's just always got all my stuff that's right there, stands up. I don't need the whole sling. I don't, I don't, I don't need the sling. I don't need the sling. I get it. Say no more. Just watch our full review of the Bellroy Desk Caddy, which you can do by checking out the links in the description below. An alternative recommendation number three is going to be the Air City Sling 2. This is for you if you're like, yeah, I was just looking for a sling. Don't need the whole desk caddy tech pouch thing. I want the best sling in the market. I'm not gonna say it's the best sling, but it's one of the best. And it'll show you sort of the air sling ecosystem where there's a lot of options. And to dive into that ecosystem, just go ahead and watch this video right here. If you have any questions about the Alpaca Vertex pouch, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.